Welcome to Archiversity Online Lectures. In this lecture, I am going to explain you the key features and differences between parametric and non-parametric statistical tests. In survey data analysis, it is very important and crucial for you to know which kind of a test is to be performed on what kind of a data set. So this lecture will uh, help you to differentiate the parametric and non-parametric statistical tests and their key features. In statistics, parametric statistics gain more relevance because of their robustness and accuracy. However, certain times you may not be able to use parametric statistical tests because of uh, insufficient data set or because of a uh, type of a data that you have. So first we look at the, what are the key features of a parametric statistical test. So in case of a parametric statistical test, one assumption is that the population of data are normally distributed and the sample should also be normally distributed. In the sense both the data as, uh, as well as the population as well as the sample both need to be normally distributed. So when we say that what is that normally distributed, the data can be normally distributed on a bell shape. Let us say here you have a data and uh, a mean value here. So this we can say that a data is, this we can say that the data is normally distributed, something like this, not exactly. So that means when there is a bell shape, so then the data is normally distributed. If it is the data is normally distributed, then you can perform a parametric statistical test. And another feature is that in parametric statistical test, we use the mean value, that is the average value. Along with that, we also calculate the standard deviation, which indicates the spread of a scores. In a sense, say, suppose here you have a mean value, uh, then you will have a standard deviation, standard deviation of plus one uh, and a standard deviation of a minus one. So accordingly, we will try to define whether the data is normally distributed or not. And another important is when case of a parametric statistical test, these are performed on interval and uh, ratio scales only. That is, uh, data is analyzed with a true interval value and when there is a or a ratio scale. So in a true interval scale or a ratio scale, on these two only we can be able to perform the parametric statistical tests. Now on the other hand, when you look at the non-parametric statistical tests here, so non-parametric statistics uh, statistical tests are distribution free statistics. That means the assumption of a normality is not required in case of a non parametric test. Normally distributed data is it is a not an assumption of a non parametric statistical test. And a non parametric statisticals only requirement is they need to be independent and identically distributed. So if the, your data is IID then you can perform a non-parametric statistical test and non-parametric statistical analysis can be performed on both ordinal, uh, nominal, interval and ratio scales. All the four scales you can perform a non-parametric statistical test. Now I'll uh, show you the key differences between these two statistical tests. Now here when it comes to the non-parametric statistical test, it is a continuous distribution assumptions of normality is required in case of a parametric statistical test. So the data need to be normally distributed in case of a parametric statistical test, whereas in non-parametric statistics test, there is not required. And in non-parametric statistics test, we use the median as a midpoint, whereas in parametric, we use a mean, it's a variance and a standard deviation as a location parameters. In both the cases, the data need to be collected randomly using a random sample method. Then uh, even in case of non-parametric tests, if a sample is not randomly drawn, if it is a convenient sample also or judgmental sample also, then also we can use a non-parametric statistical test, but not a parametric statistic test. Then independence of responses is required in the both the cases, whereas the non-parametric statistic tests can be performed on nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio scales, whereas parametric statistics scales can be performed only on interval and ratio or data only. Next is that non-parametric statistical tests can be performed on large as well as a small data sample sets. However, parametric statistics tests can be performed only on a large data set. That is, if your sample size is more than 30 or 30 cases, then only you can perform a statistical test. That is a parametric statistics test. 
if it is less than 30 then you have to use only non parametric statistics test then the disadvantage is that non parametric statistics is have a weaker statistical power whereas uh, parametric statistics tests are more powerful that is the reason why researchers always prefer to perform parametric statistics tests even the data doesn't uh, support also but you have to be very careful and uh, you have to see that if wherever required you try to uh, use non parametric statistical tests so this test that is a non parametric statistics test and parametric statistics test can be performed on univariate data set bivariate data set and multi variate data sets so you don't need to worry about that uh, if you have a bivariate or a multivariate you will not be able to perform non parametric statistics test no for every uh, parametric statistical test there is an equivalent non parametric statistic test so suppose if here if you have a t test then there is an alternative here in a non parametric statistics test here you have you have an anova test then you have a equivalent uh, man whitney u test here in a non parametric statistical test so only is that to, while choosing the uh, statistical test which statistics to be performed that is a non parametric statistical test or a parametric statistics test you need to observe your data set all right so here uh, let us take an example of a median suppose you ranked your data or you collected the income levels of an individuals then uh, it, it may be uh, difficult for you to calculate the mean variance and standard deviations only median value may be appropriate for such kind of analysis in that case you are forced to perform only non parametric statistical tests and when there is a uh, data measured on a true interval scale and a ratio scale then you can go for a parametric statistic test these are the key features and differences between uh, parametric and non parametric tests thank you thank you for listening to the lecture